Hey guys, it's me KSMR here, and today I'm going to be reading a Sugawara Koshi X listener. This one is a 7 Minutes in Heaven one. This is actually uh, a series, which I didn't realize. You know my most popular video, which is a Kenma 7 Minutes in Heaven one. There's actually multiple for this. There's a Suga one, um, a Tsukushima one, a Asahi one, and then there's one more that I'm forgetting at the moment. Uh, but there's actually more of them, so... I'm, I guess I'll be posting these too. <laughs> um, I'm posting this one because uh, I posted two male listeners today and uh, a good majority, like 95% of my viewers are girls. So I want something for them too. So here it is. Ooh. Um, yeah, that's all I have to say. That was a long intro. So without further ado, let's get right on into the video. Two, you said, pulling out a piece of paper out of the pile and reading it out loud. That's me, Suga said in his gentle, motherly voice. He got up, ran his right hand through his soft silver hair, and walked into the closet. You blushed, as you realized that you would be spending your seven minutes with the boy that you were definitely far in love with. Sugawara Koshi, you loved his gentle smile, his cute laugh, and his mother-like concern for the Karasuno volleyball team. You looked desperately at Shimizu, trying to convey your nervousness to her and get her to replace you. She, however, just smirked and pushed you into the closet. Come on, Wayan, I know you can do this, she said in her soft voice. You rolled your eyes, but didn't struggle. You knew that there was no possible way of you getting out of your predicament. Your situation hit you as you reached the rough wooden door of the closet. Wait, uh, Shimizu, I don't, I don't want to do this. Please just let me. But before you could finish talking, she shoved you in the door. You could hear the lock click as you and the person you were in love with were enveloped in the darkness of the room together. You would hit the ground hard and fell and you felt a sharp pain just below your collarbone. You could feel or you could just barely make out the nail that poked through oh my god. Sorry. You could just barely fail feel the nail poking through your teal cashmere sweater and pierce through your skin. <gasps> Why in? Are you okay? Suga asked, evident concern or evident or concern evident in his tone. Yeah, I'm fine. I think a nail cut me, though, you said, pressing your hand to your wound. You accepted Suga's hand gratefully as you stood up with his support. Uh, where? He asked, trying to make out your wound in the darkness. Uh, just below my collarbone. It's no big deal, honestly, you said, turning your head to, st turning your head to study the darkness near the corner of the wall in the closet. Suga reached out and felt... <sighs> Suga reached out and felt for any dampness in your sweater that would signify you bleeding. You let out a soft yelp as he pressed down onto it, hard. Oh, I'm sorry, he said quickly, and he removed his hand. You could hear something that sounded like fabric ripping, but then just felt the right, but then felt just the right amount of pressure being applied to the cut. Here, just hold it. It should stop the bleeding. Thanks, you said, genuinely touched by his concern and generosity. You should really be more careful next time, first name, he said with a playful tone. The two of you sat up in your silence for a while, or sat in the silence for a while as you continued to wrap your minds around the fact, around the unprecedented events that had occurred one after another. Hey, Wyan, I didn't mean to tell you this so soon, but I think this is the perfect opportunity, you hear Suga say, slight, nerv slight, nervous slight nervousness quivering in his lyrical voice. Hmm? You replied, curious as to what he was meaning to tell you. Well, um, I, uh, I really, really like you. Not, not just like, I, um, I love you, he said. You could hear his voice quiver even more, and it felt hot, and felt the hot, stuffy air thicken in anticipation of your answer. He waited, wait, he waited a heartbeat, then continued. It's fine if you don't return my feelings or anything. I just, um wanted to tell you. You launched yourself at him without any warning, in a warm kind of hug that meant to convey your every emotion. Happiness, ecstasy, nerves, and passion so fiery that you could feel it curling throughout every single vein, pore, and cell in your body. I love you too, you said, almost whispering. If this was a dream, you definitely never wanted to wake up. Suga shifted more into a comfortable position, Suga shifted you into a more comfortable position on your lap, tentatively reaching down to meet your lips. You felt a sudden rush of coolness spread through every part of your body. From your scalp to your legs, it was like you were frozen in the most beautiful moment of clarity. 
There you were, having everything you ever wanted in life. The two of you had break away, or had to break away from the kiss, too soon as he felt the heat of the lock as he felt the heat of the locked closet hit hard on you. Before the two of you could say anything more, the door opened and Tanika poked his head inside, grinning e devilishly. Well, it looks like the two of you had a lot of fun in there. Suka took your hand and helped you get up, and then led you out of the closet. You closed your eyes as you felt the cool, refreshing air of Nishinoi's living room. You looked around and met eyes with everyone on the volleyball team, as well as Shimizu, Shimizu, Shimizu and Yachi staring at you eagerly, wanting to hear the juicy de details of your new found relationship with Suka. That was adorable. Oh my god. Um, that was so sweet. Oh my god. That was that was really cute. Maybe you guys enjoyed that. If you did, I, I don't like that these are kind of short, but I think that they're really cute stories, so I'm gonna read them anyways. If you guys did like that, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified every single time I post a video. And also like the video because it does something for the YouTube algorithm. And comment down below some other characters you want me to do, and I'll try my best to do for you guys. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.